Young Miami, what's happening? What's up? What's going on? How are you? I'm good. How's life right now? Because I see this incredible shiny necklace on and I'm like, okay, life must be good. Life is good right now. Everything is going good. Everything is amazing. Like I'm happy. Yeah. So still so much to do, right? Still so much. It's no days off at all. But that's okay. This is what you wanted. Right. Right. This this is what I wanted. Exactly. Sure. Yes. And City Girls will be at Summer Jam. So this is really exciting for I'm, us. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Why? Because Summer Jam, this is big. It is, it is. It's really, really big. It makes or breaks people to be a thousand. For real. It does. Absolutely. But I've never seen anyone not be great from it. Right. So that's usually the trajectory of it all. Is that usually when you made it to Summer Jam and you could get through that. Life is good after yeah, that. I'm ready. So I'm you're excited. good. No, and here's the thing. Everybody loves the music. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different if your songs weren't ringing off in the club, if they weren't, you know, at that magnitude. Then I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'd be a little nervous. Yeah. But you already have hit songs, so it's not. Yeah. But you know what? You're probably such a perfectionist, so you just want to be able to just come on stage and wow everybody. I, I just want to make sure that Everyone is having fun when I'm on stage. Of course. And everybody be like, she did so good. <laughs> of course. How's JT doing? She's good. I talk to her every day. She always just like, I every can't wait day. to come home. Mm -hmm. Wow. Email. Email. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. And how's she doing mentally? She's strong. That's a strong person. She just be like, you know, she's just doing her little time. It ain't nothing but time. She know when she come home, she come home to bigger things. Right. And, you know, it's only going to get greater. So she not like down or nothing. Does she worry at all because she hasn't been out that, oh, like people aren't going to want to hear from her? No, like, because it's like everybody waiting on her. <laughs> it's free JT. Like right. even Rihanna just said free JT. So it's like. Right. They waiting on her. I, I hope she knows that because sometimes it could be really defeating. I show her like we get to um, video visit and we right. do it like two times a month. So I show her like everything. I'll be like, well, ooh, Rihanna just said free JT. Or like, when she call, I show her like little clips and stuff that people be doing. What was she most excited to see? Do you remember a reaction? She was like, oh, wow. The Drake in my feelings, the video. Yes. She was, she really wanted to see that. She was like, oh, my God. When she got, she was like, just show me the video. Like, don't talk about <laughs> nothing else. And she wanted to see Twerk with Cardi B. Yeah. yeah. And how did Twerk and Cardi B come about? Um, We had already recorded Twerk. Okay. And um, people was like, I think y'all should put Cardi on the song. I think that's like, it'll be lit. Right. So it was like, yeah. And Cardi got on the song. And then we did the video. And then it was a done deal. And then hopefully we'll see it at Summer Jam. Maybe. I don't oh know. What, I don't know what's planned, but <laughs> I, I mean I, I would love to see this. That would be cha <laughs> dropping. Yeah. It's gonna be I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Have you already thought of outfits or are we still not there yet? No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking hard. I I really wanna bring it. Right, of course. So I'm working on it. Yeah. So act up. When you saw Rihanna dance to that, how was that? I was like, that's right, Rihanna. Because Rihanna is a city girl. Yeah. Like, she's a city girl. Like, What makes someone a city girl? Being authentic, being yourself, being mm. an individual. You know, it's just a turn up, a queen. Right. A female. <laughs> Everybody a city girl in their own way. And so Rihanna was the one where you're just like, yo, what? Did yeah, you expect that? No. Well, I did. Because Rihanna always co-signed the city girls. Like, she co-signed Flute Out. And she did something else. She had followed me on Twitter. So. Done. You're done. Yeah, I'm like, Brianna being supporting City Girls. Have you had a chance to talk to her or meet her yet? No, I'm going to fall out. <laughs> <sighs> I can't wait. No, I haven't. I can't wait till we talk again and you're like, Nessa, I did. I finally spoke to her. I can't wait. I, yeah, I feel like she's so supportive and empowering that, you know, I just feel like I could see the connection between you. Right. She got that I don't give a Yeah. The attitude. City girls. That that right there. <laughs> was there anyone that you came across that was so starstruck over you or they knew your music and you didn't expect them to know? Drake. He wasn't starstruck, but she he was like really a fan. Like he really liked the City Girls music. Like when I met Drake, he was like, Thank you so much. I'm like, Thank me, nigga, thank you. And he was just so like, Oh my God. Like yeah. I can't believe like you did this and I'm like, I can't believe you called us, like, you know. Yeah. Can he give you a song? Can he give y'all a song or can we 
Yeah. Can we make that happen? Mm-hmm. I think that's the only fair next step that needs to happen. Well, we do got the song with Drake. We got the In My Feelings. They put out the original right. song, but we do need like a Drake and City Girls. Right. Like actually yeah. original. When JT come on, we going to make it happen. I like that. Any plans for JT when she gets back home? Big party. I think she need a big party. Yeah. I think she need to celebrate, you know, just all the success that we got going on. And she done missed out on a lot of big things. So I feel like we should throw a big party. Mm -hmm. Make sure Rihanna is there. Right. (laughs) (laughs) And, you know, just let her have her moment in. Right. Turn up. What did you think about the newscaster situation? Oh, my God. With the DJ playing... He a city the, boy. It be like that. He was in the moment. He was in the moment. He was so hype. You know, when you just can't resist. I couldn't believe he played the explicit oh God, version. I hope he still got his job. You know? uh, <laughs> that's going to be tough. Do you remember where you were when you saw that clip? Somebody sent it to me <laughs> in a DM. And I watched it like three times. I'm like, it's not real. Oh, it's real. I saw, I'm not. Did that really happen? Like, <laughs> I, I'm surprised he even know that song. Why? I don't know. Because it was just like where he was at. When you have great music, it's undeniable. It's everywhere. Yeah, sometimes, you know, I still be in shock. I'm like, oh, my God. You're still in shock about the whole success. Yeah. But your guys' work is successful, you know? I know. I, I got to let that sink in. It's right. just that I'm, st- I'm still not comfortable yet. I'm still in my beginning stage where I'm like, oh, my God, you know who I am? Hey. Yeah. Like, I had saw Mary J. Blige at um, P. Diddy party, and she was like, <gasps> and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know me? Yeah, she was like, I love y'all part on um, Drake and my feelings. Yeah. And I was like, thank you. Right. And I think. She knew the city girls, and I was like, I told you, see, I was like, oh my God, maybe Jay Blige, she knows us. Right. <laughs> I, I love this. You're showing so much gratitude mm-hmm. and appreciation for this journey, which is what I feel like so many people want, which is usually what determines an artist successful for the long term or not, you right. know, because you're, you're enjoying this. Mm-hmm. Did you ever think you would be in this position now? Hell no. No. I never thought that. Like, I thought... You know, even when me and JT first started rapping and we got signed, I never thought that it would go here so fast. Because, mm. you know, a lot of people have to grind for a long time oh, to yeah. get. So for everything that just go from oh, A to yeah. Z real quick, it's just like, oh, my God. I thought it probably would have been like five years from now, at least four, four to three years. Right. Why do you think it's taking off the way it is? Because I feel like we a group. Right. We the only female group right now, so it's like, and I feel like our music is 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 turn up, it's fun, it's ratchet and it's classy in its own ways, and it's like we speak for people that want to say stuff, right, that they can't, right, or that they think but they won't. So it's like when they get in the car, when they get home, they could just right, <laughs> they in the city girl can come out. So I think that you know our music, it, it just stand out from other people. It ain't really that city girl music, right. Right now, it used to be like with Trina and Lil' Kim. Right. Right now, everybody music is just like in their own lane, but we got that. Right, yes. I I agree. Out of the greats who've inspired you, who would they be? I would really say Lil' Kim. Because mm-hmm. growing up, I used to listen to Lil' Kim a lot. Right. Like, Not Tonight is my favorite song by Lil' Kim. I should not know that song. <laughs> But I know it, I and can't. I just love, like, the fashion part of her. Like, right. still to today, I would like, look, Kim, she is just so iconic. Like, right, for she sure. she dress, her hair, her makeup. I say Trina. You know, I'm from I Miami. I love Trina, and I love Kim, but Trina is what you see is what you get with Trina. Mm-hmm. Same with Kim. But Trina, I remember when I interviewed her, and I was like, wow, One you're thing I can say about Trina, she really have that attitude. Like, I'm the baddest. Yes, that's her. Like she don't play. She she's just about her music. She ain't with nothing else. Yeah, I, I love that. I think that's that's beautiful. What I love and I'm excited for is at Summer Jam we have you, we have Megan Thee Stallion, we have Melly, we have Cardi, of mm-hmm. course. But you're just seeing a lot cash all. Just a, I want to say this is the most we've ever seen women rap artists up on that stage right. all at once, like at one Summer Jam. So I do think there's something beautiful happening right so what, how does that make you feel that you're part of this empowerment right now it it just made me feel like i made it yeah just from going from nothing to summer jam right and now it's like remember you remember those times when nobody wanted to work with you right 
and nobody wanted to book you and then it's like now you're in arenas and it's like just it's a nice feeling right still it's, so much ago it's a, it's a good feeling it's it's like like I said, it still ain't seeking yet. Every time I'm always excited. Like I'm like I'm doing some jam. Oh my god! Yeah, it's happening. Your set, City Girls. You know, of course, J Teen Spirit. I feel that it will be the highlight. I think you'll be very surprised in a very beautiful way. Thank you. Because it's it's the music. It's undeniable right now. I mean, you saw the clips. They're playing the song in the church. Did you see that? I saw that. I saw that. I'm like. Was that a church service or did they rent out the church? Like, what was that? What is going on? <laughs> <All out right. laughs> Have you sent anything to JT to listen to for the new project? Um, yeah, like when she called, I let her listen to like certain stuff that I'm working on right. or stuff that I started in the studio or whatever, and I get her opinion. So she's very like hands on with everything that I do right. through the video chat. Like when she video chat and I'm in the studio, she could hear what I'm working on and stuff like that. So it's like You don't worry about anybody tapping in or leaking any information out or i don't worry about that because it's federal that sounds so serious when you say that that's federal okay yeah i don't i like from my understanding i never heard it done before but i know that's serious like this so if someone tried to take it it would be a big situation yeah yeah i mean i would think so i guess i'm always worried when it deals with calls and anything that's on that kind of level i'm always like yeah, i always think about that in the back of my head but i know at the end of the day it's federal and that type of information shouldn't just be like you know it's not right accessible like that i know there's probably you can't t talk too much as far as the release date or when you know we can see jt but hopefully soon we yeah, can say so, that right mm -hmm. Good spirit. Yes. I feel like this is good. So from this point on, if you could put your wish list of artists that you would love to work with, who are the top three for you? My top three wish list would be uh, Rihanna. Oh, that's <laughs> Rihanna. I want to work with a singer. I say Usher. Okay. Okay. In like how far back? Beyonce. Done. Beyonce. Beyonce. Have you ran into her? I want to work with Beyonce so bad. Like, I know you know the city girls. <laughs> Stop playing. She's... I'm sure she does. Yes. I'm sure everyone who loves what they do, who's involved with this, understands who's popping and understands what's happening yes. out here. I would love to work with Beyonce. I would love this. I will fall out. <laughs> and I'll cry for months. <laughs> Because she could sing and rap. So. She could do it all. <laughs> right, exactly. And I think people didn't expect that from Beyonce. But right. I love her. I love for her to rap on a City Girl song. So I know you're a mother, right? You're mm -hmm. a mom. Mm -hmm. How how has that played a part for you? And how important does all the success mean I feel like family? my mom going, to make, going away, it made me a woman. Mm. It made me stronger. Because it was like, I was always like... In my early 20s, so mm -hmm. I could say I was just like a look, not like a look girl, but you know how I was you just You were young. Like, yeah. Definitely But young. it was like when my mom went away, she left me with my sister and my brother. It's like, now nah, I'm a woman. Right. I'm head of the household. So it was like I had to put myself in a situation where it's like, okay, it's time to grow up. So I feel like it gave me something to, you know, like it gave me something to do. Like, okay, you got to find something to do. You got to take care of these kids right like, right 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 <laughs> you gotta so it just made me you know it just made i feel like it made me stronger and it made me who i am today oh i love this so how is the love life going is it are you on the market not on the market yeah i have a boyfriend i like this how does uh, that relationship feel working so much i feel good about it okay. i'm having fun right now i'm in love so <laughs> <laughs> See, I love it. Okay, so really quick before you run out of here, you get one pass. It's just rapid fire questions, okay? Okay. So, should a guy pay for the first date if he asked the lady out? Of course. No doubt about it. Yeah, should she should. offer to pay half? Why? Why should she? <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you saw your friend's boo at a party and they were supposed to stay home, what would you do? Call her, girl. I see him come right now. <laughs> <laughs> If your friend smelt mm -hmm. B.O. bad breath, what are you going to let them know? Or are you not going to tell them? I, I, I've been in this situation before. And it's it's like, I never said nothing. <gasps> I didn't. What? 
Cause you gotta. What? You, Can you guys know? You have to know how to say it. If it's bad breath, I'd be like, okay, yo. But if it's like a hygiene problem, it's kind of it's like I just I never say nothing. Really? No. I I really feel like you would say like, hey boo, like we got to figure something out. You know, maybe it's I've hot. Been, I've been in this situation twice. <gasps> I swear, I, and I ain't say nothing. Oh, because it's like sometimes you got to know what to say, how to say it. And some people are so sensitive when it comes from a certain somebody. Like maybe if I say it, it just be like, right. Versus if somebody else said it. Like when I say something, people always take it the wrong way. So I just mind my business. Would you rather have bad BO or bad breath? Not forever, but temporarily. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> but if this, okay, if it's the only way. Bad bro. Yeah, because you just keep your mouth closed, yeah, right? Or, you know, get some gum or mouthwash. It's ways around. You could just be like, hey. Like this, right. Well, I just ate, excuse <laughs> me. Yeah, like, you could justify. <laughs> yeah. Between. I got a bad teeth. Like, you know, you could justify. Between so. you and JT, who would you say knows how to cook better? Me. <laughs> JT and how to make TV dinners. <laughs> <laughs> who would you say is on their phone more? Both. Who would you say is funnier? JT. <laughs> I really can't wait for her to get out. I, I honestly, I'm excited for you. I'm sure this has been so hard for you without her. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want people to understand about this time for you? Because sometimes we see how well put together you are and mm -hmm. you're so happy. But, you know. I, what people don't understand is this is new for me. Everything. Like, this is my first time ever rapping and touring and just doing everything. So, everything is new. Right. I'm learning everything on my own. I'm going through all this. Like, every day I do something, it's a new experience for me. Right. So, it's like, the first time I did a radio interview was the first time I did a radio interview. Really? Yes. You're doing great. So, the first time I do something that got anything to do with music and entertainment, it's my first time. Right. I just started doing this. So it's like, it's a process. Right. And it's going to take time. Right. And, so. I, and I think the journey is more where the focus should be. Don't worry so much about perfection. Because mm -hmm. the more you worry about that. that. And that's the thing why I think that the city grows is where we at today. Because it was like, we was just having fun. People be so, it's like when you're yeah. so serious, it's not fun. Right. Because you're too serious. Yeah. Versus when you having fun, it just come off as you having fun. Like, I feel like people is too serious with their music. Right. And that's why it's not relatable. Or that's why people can't understand it. Because it's like, it's too serious. Maybe right. it's too depressing. Or it's just too deep. Right. Versus we just having fun. And you can go in a club and you can put it on. You can put it on in your car with your friends and turn up and have fun. Like, people be too serious. Right. Gotta learn to relax. And, and I think there's music for everything. Right? right. Like, sometimes if you want to have fun, this is what you put on. If you want to get deep and emotional, you put that on. But I think it's a matter of allowing everybody to express themselves the way they want to. Mm -hmm. You know? Do you feel like people come at you and come at City Girls? Like... I think everybody loves y'all, so I don't see people. Come I don't read me. your comments. Twenty four seven, all day, three sixty five. The grammar police out here. People come <laughs> at me for everything, and they come at me for my body weight, the way I talk, every like everything. But it's, I understand that like everybody go through it. They talk about everybody. They talk about Jesus. They talk about everybody. So it's like I'm doing better than you at the end of the day, though. Talk about it. So it's like let's talk about that. <laughs> It was such a pleasure to be here today. And I, I can't wait to see you at Summer Jam. I can't wait till JT's out mm -hmm. and we'll be cheering for you guys. Enjoy this. Thank you. Thanks Enjoy. for having me. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs>